Welcome to my comprehensive teacher's guide to Seesaw. The first thing you're going to do is open up an internet browser and type in Seesaw Learning Apps in the search bar. The Seesaw Learning App should be the first option to appear. Click on it. When the website opens, you should choose the Sign Up Free option. From the next screen, choose I'm a Teacher. When creating your account, choose Teacher Sign Up with Google. And then, choose the Google account that you want to use. Once you have created your account, it will open you up to this screen and you should click Create New Class. The first thing you should do is give your class a name and choose its grade level. When finished, tap the green check at the top of the window. Once you have created your class, the next step would be to add students. At the bottom of the page, click the button that says Add Students. It will then ask you if you want students to sign up to Seesaw using their email address. Choose No. For the next option, just to be safe, I would choose Shared Devices. Then we can add our students. There are two ways to do this. You can add the students one by one, or you can paste a list of your students. The easiest option would be to paste a list. Go to any file that you have with your students' names on it. It can be a Word doc or an Excel sheet and copy the list of your students. Go back to the Seesaw app and paste a list of your students. From this screen, you can modify as needed. Once all of your students are added, tap the green check at the top twice. This will bring you to Get Students Signed In. Scroll down and you will see the QR code and the text code. I do not use the text code because it expires every hour. You're going to want to print the student sign-in poster and save it as a file on your computer so you can send it to your students. Make sure you only send page 3 as it is the one with the QR code. Now that that's out of the way, let's go back to the main page. If you notice, in the top right corner, you should be able to see your name. This area allows you to create a new class and switch between the classes that you have already created. To create another class, you should follow the same instructions as before. Also, in this area, you can select your school. Click on Select Your School at the bottom and then click Find Your School. Here, you should type in the name of your school. Once your school name appears, click on it and then click the gray X in the corner. In the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a teacher to your account so the students will only have one Seesaw QR code to use for all of their subjects. First, you're going to click on the class settings. It's the wrench in the left-hand corner of your screen above your class name. Once the class settings open, scroll down to Manage Teachers and click it. A new window will appear. You should then click here to generate a teacher invite link. Copy the invite link and send it to the teacher who you will be sharing your class. The next portion of this tutorial will be how to invite parents and families. At the bottom of the screen next to Add Students, you will see Add Families. Click on that button and a new window will open. You're going to click the blue button that says Turn on Family Access. And to make it easier for you, just click the Share an Invite link. Once that window pops up, click the blue copy link and share it in whatever platform you are using to communicate with the parents whether it be via Pronote or Padlet. The next thing we're going to look at is how to add a skill. On the left side of your screen, 
you will see Journal, Activities, Inbox, and Skills. Click on Skills. At the bottom of the screen, you will see Add Skills. Click that button and a new window will open. Here, you can name your skills, such as Oral Production. The name and quick code fields are required. Once you fill out your skill, click on the green check button to add your skill. In the next portion of the tutorial, we're going to learn about activities, how to assign and schedule an activity for your classes. The first thing to do when assigning an activity is to tap on the large green button that says Add and then click Assign Activity. From here, you can browse the community library. These are activities already provided by other Seesaw users. Just go to the search bar and type in a keyword to bring up some activities. Or you can even type in the name of a lesson and see what other teachers have prepared. When using the community library, Click on the activity that interests you and then click the green Assign button next to the activity. A new window will pop up that will show your classes. Choose the class you want to assign the activity to. From here, you have two options. You can assign it to the class or you can schedule the activity for a later date. Let's schedule this one. With a new Seesaw account, the schedule option is free for 60 days. Once you tap on Schedule, a new window will pop up. From here, you can assign the activity immediately or assign a specific date and time. Once you've selected your date and time, Click on the green check, and then you can assign the activity on your chosen date and time. Once this is completed, you can see the assigned activity in your class activities under the scheduled tab. Your students will be unable to see the scheduled activities. They can only see the activities currently assigned. Now, let's learn how to create a new activity. Click on the green Add button again, and then click on Create New Activity. This will bring you to a form to complete. Give your activity a name, and then type in the student instructions. I want you to notice there are several words between colons in my instructions, such as Add. This is a way to add icons to your instructions. You also have the option to add voice instructions for your students to listen to. If you want to add a multimedia instruction or an example, click here. From here, you can upload a file, a photo, a drawing, a video, a link, or a note. From upload, you can add a picture, a PDF, or a video. Click upload and then select the file you want to upload and press the green check button twice, and it will be attached to your activity. You can also add a skill to your activity by clicking more options and then add a skill. You can choose the skill for your activity from your list of skills that you created. Once you have finished creating your activity, save it. Now you are ready to assign it to a class. You can also edit the activity after 
it has been assigned by clicking on the three small dots at the bottom of the activity and then choosing Edit Activity. This will bring you back to the activity form. Don't forget to save your activity after you have edited it. Now, let's learn how to make an activity that has a student template and response sheet. Again, you're going to click on the green circle that says Add and then Add Activity. You're going to create a new activity and follow the same instructions as before. This time, however, you're going to add a template for student responses. The students will be able to respond directly to your activity in Seesaw. Click the Add Template for Student Response, and then upload the template for your student's response from your computer. After you have uploaded the template, you can edit the activity by adding a label or a picture, a voice recording, or even a background. Once you have finished editing the template to your satisfaction, click the green check to save it. This will bring you back to the Create New Activity screen. Save the activity. And now, your activity is ready to be assigned. One of the best things about using Seesaw is that the students can do the activity directly from the application. As you can see here, they can type in the label box and they have several different drawing tools they can use to color a picture. They can also add pictures from their computer or take a picture to insert it into the template. They can also create an audio recording directly onto the template using the application. The audio recording tool is a great tool, especially for language learners, as it allows the students to explain or describe something using the target language of the activity. Once the students have completed the activity, all they have to do is click the green check at the top of the page and it is submitted directly to you, the teacher.